Hello, Scaldude78 here. Welcome back, Hot Wheels fans. So I needed a break from building some Hot Wheels cars. Decided I was going to go to the Hot Wheels show today. I was like, all right, I'm going to throw together a trade bag. And I didn't know what to expect because it was the first one we were ever going to have. And so I went to Dollar General and I went to Kroger. Excuse me. And... I spent like seven dollars and then I, I came home and filled it up with the rest of uh, cars on my collection. Um, I'm not going to invest in something if I don't know what to expect. And I'm glad I didn't because the show got cancelled. This is actually the second video I made because um, the first video is going in the bin. So I figured you know what, my all the preparation I made didn't go in vain. I'm going to show you my trade bag. I'm going to show you what I first picked up at Dollar General. I got the Koenigsegg Gamera and the Lincoln Continental. These are both exclusive colors. I know everyone's having a hard time finding these right now, so I thought surely this will be good trade. Very metallic. And here's the other two. Super Cub Custom, and the Falcon Mustang. And then when I went to Dylan's, I found the 56 Corvette, Barbie car, and the 90 Civic EF. And then for my own personal collection, the Monster Jam Breaking Records, uh, maximum destruction. I found this one a long time ago. It's just been, I already have this one open. The very first Godzilla car. Nice card. These were all going to be some, I was hoping for some good trades. Three tuned Supras. Just an old Oldsmobile Aurora from. 1991 a really cool nice metallic let's get some light on there nice metallic Silverado monster truck Hot Wheels and M2 Sweethearts I don't believe this is a chase I think this is just the main one but I just Oh no, I used to have one of these. Mine wasn't lowered or anything, but I used to have one. It was really cool. I loved it. It was one of my favorite vehicles I've ever owned, but I just can't get beyond the Soulmates livery. And it's matte, so I don't think the uh, the um, tampos would come off very easily. And it does look like the bed cover comes off, which is kind of cool. And it has actual lenses for the tail lights. Pretty cool. I think the turn signals are painted on or stamped on. I really like that one, but I just got tired of the color. Uh, graphite with metallic metal flake Mustang. And the hood opens. Let's see. We can get some light in there. You can see the 5.0. Red interior. I can't remember if that was an, a real color combination from back in the day. And then for singles, I just went through my main lines and picked out some cars that I wasn't too enthused about anymore. Uh, Aston? What is this? Aston Martin Vantage. I just don't like the paint paint scheme on this one. And... It's got a decent interior, but they've come out with better ones. I think this was when it first came out. I was real excited for it. A Matchbox, 350Z, 370Z, 720, 850, whatever. 360, woo, full circle. I uh, don't really like that one. A Honda Civic, which I bought to customize, and the more I looked at it, this one's a Matchbox, too. Uh, the more I looked at it, I just was like, 
what can I customize on that? My blue little red express. Now you can see all the metallic in there. Ooh, that's beautiful. But I just recently picked up the red, the, the red red express. A Civic, which I'm customizing currently, so I don't really need another one. And then the metallic Mitsubishi 3000 GT. I really like the window color and I like the gray interior, but I just picked up the blue one. A really pretty blue one. But I don't know. I think I was thinking about swapping interiors in and out with this, but I know a lot of people are looking for the black one. Focus. There you go. The black one is really good looking. This is one of those colors that the details don't get hidden. It's not black, black, black. Metallic. Whew. And then for loose premiums. See, I was planning on, if this trade show worked well, collecting a few cars just for it. So for loose premiums. Civic R or Civic. Why did I say Civic? Mazda RX3. Very pretty. Show you the Hot Wheels first. Some VW. Is this a Sirocco? SP2. I don't know what that is. I've never seen one of these in real life. Showing you the premiums first. So Mazda, Volkswagen, Audi. I think this is an S3. Very nice details. S4. I was going to turn this one into a race car because they do really well on the racetrack. But uh, I think this is a Koenigsegg. Agera. I think this was part of Jay Leno's garage, maybe, or something. I know I got it, like, in a two-pack or something, and I, I wanted the other car, not that one. Mercedes C63. Very good looking in red. I just didn't feel like this one popped enough on the shelf. I think this one's a Fast and Furious Mustang. Very cool. It's Metal Flake. Very pretty. Lots of gloss. I think this is a GT500. GT350R. I'd pick the 350R anyways. Mitsubishi Lancer. I have two of these. I have a red one and then this white one. And I actually think the, the red one's a little more eye appealing. So I was like, yeah, sure. You could trade this one out. Which, now that I look at it, it's a really good looking car. Audi Quattro. I have two of these. I like the other paint scheme better. I had two of these too, so that's why this one was going up. I don't think that's Metal Flake. It's a BMW M1 Project Cars. And this one actually looks pretty good in black. Very nice colors. Tampo on the windshield. Very cool car. I tried to pick out... Lucy's out of my collection that I thought people would like. Jay Leno Garage, uh, SLR, SL300, something like that. I can't read that. Too glossy. And it's, uh, what's the word? Not patina. It looks like it's old. It has, like, rust and stuff on it. That's intended to be that way. It's Jay Leno's car. That's the way he wants it. Very cool. I'm recent. I'm recently picked this one up in silver. That's why that one's in there. Greenwood Corvette in blue. 
with Mancuso Chevrolet on it. I like the headlights on this thing. Very cool. And one more Hot Wheels. 55 Chevy. I can't remember what what this one came out of. It's an older one. I want to say early 2000s, maybe late 90s. Metal on metal. So, premium. 76 was the original casting. This is a, re, a repop. I don't remember what year, though. Yeah, it does have the Hot Wheels logo. Really cool, but it just doesn't fit my theme. Most of my stuff is 70s. 60s, 70s, and mostly more 80s or newer. This one I think is a Johnny Lightning. I was originally going to take the tampo off and, you know, paint it up and stuff. I mean, because how often do you see a premium Integra Type R? It's just a really good looking car. But now that the trade show got canceled, I might just end up modifying this. What does that say? Orchid from the Clue Game. Dr. Orchid. It's a really cool car. It's got a good interior. And then this one I think is an Auto World. I don't remember. It's got rubber. No, plastic. These are plastic tires actually. Hmm. It's just got a lot of good tampo work. GTO. Really pretty color. Really, really pretty. Stop shaking. There we go. And I had this one in two colors. This is metal on metal rubber tires. The uh, hood opens. I can't get it one handed, but the hood opens. This one is a. I want to say Johnny Lightning, but I don't think that's right. Well, that was a major bummer. Comment down below which cars do you think would have moved the fastest and which cars are your favorite. Maybe you guys can give me ideas for my trade bag. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. I will talk to you guys next time. Have fun collecting. Bye.